Hello. Hey, teary-eyed girl at the bar. We're both in the same boat. Yes, we are. This may be the loneliest night of the year. So don't pretend I'm not here. Don't you push me away. I know exactly what you're going to say, but I'm here to ask you anyway. Would you consider flying off to Vegas as my New Year's Day? You may know me very well. Other girls say go to hell, but other girls ain't you. You've got a need for what I'm here to sell. I'm closing in. This may be a win. You may have a penchant for debauchery and sin. If that's true, then I'm your guy. Packed a suitcase, booked a flight. Stop the paper, hold the mail, board the dog, and leave three nights. You may come back and sell the house. Quit the dog, divorce the south. May come back in love with me, but that's not what this is all about. I'm closing in. This may be a win. You may have a penchant for debauchery and sin. Closing in. This may be a win. You may have a pension for debauchery and sin. New Year's Eve in Vegas, it's all I'm here to sell. Don't come along expecting something else. I know exactly what you're going to say, but I'm here to ask you anyway. Would you consider flying off to Vegas as my New Year's Day? Oh, oh, flying off to Vegas is my New Year's Day. Whoa. girl at the bar we're both in the same boat yes we are so that was the uh, the first song from my uh, New Year's Eve live stream. I went 12 and a half hours, I think, the longest I'd ever gone by a factor of about five hours. And I started it all out with that song, and that's going to be the first song on A Mile Offshore, my new CD. And it's going to be followed by this song, which is the title song. While offshore I can see the lamp in your hand Beckoning me I said I need a safe place to land While offshore guess I'm home my friend Catch a full night of sleep again I'm not going back out again My friend While offshore it looks like 73 So little has changed This one pub village I see The windows glisten, the hills are green I hear your voice calling out to me From here we both could be 17 again I hear your mother and father are gone. They say I'm not the type you can depend upon. Looking back from this line of sight, I can only say your mother and father were right. Mile offshore, the dolphins swim by my hull, circling me to the lilting song of the gulls. I know that's what I've been sailing toward When I climb back you can climb aboard For a little dance it's a sweet reward to ourselves For my long clear history of selfish deeds I come home with only apologies There's no blame if you turn your back To hell with that you're out there waiting for me
my wife sure I can see the lamp in your hand beckoning me I said I need a safe place to land my love sure guess I'm home my friend catch a full night of sleep again I'm not going back out again my friend My love sure guess I'm home again Catch a full night of sleep again I'm not going back out again My friend My love sure I can see the lamp in your hand Ha ha ho 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 My love sure guess I found a soft place to land. My love sure. My love sure. My love sure. Mile Offshore, and that's, as I say, that's the, uh, that's the uh, title song for my new CB, CD. Hi, Randy. Hi, Linda. And uh, as you may have noticed in my uh, promo for this, I actually sat down last night and put together a, a, uh, an order list of the songs, so I'm actually playing them today in the order that they'll be showing up on the, uh, on the CD. Um, Here's something I think both Randy and I can uh, can probably uh, uh, I don't even know what the word is, but something that we can both uh, you know identify with. And uh, you know I've noticed you know I played a lot of shows this summer, a lot of outdoor farmers markets and stuff like that. And, you know one thing I one thing I learned you know there's a, there's people that like you, and there's people that don't like you. And, uh, and uh, the people who don't like you, you know, it's usually the volume issues. You know, if they can hear it, it's too loud, you know. And, and, uh, so, and so what do you do anyway? But my, my advice, this, this song I actually wrote, this is, this is my advice to them. If you don't like me, just pretend. We'll both feel better in the end. The owner tells me I'll be playing there again. So if you don't like me, just pretend That grimace of exasperation With every chord I play I'm doing my best up here Get lonely on this stage If you don't like me, just pretend We'll both feel better in the end the owner tells me I'll be playing here again So if you don't like me, just pretend The minimum of positive thinking to Change your view of me There could be some common ground Buried way too deep to see oh, 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 oh. do your song request ask the folks who know me best I'll never pass the covers test I don't even guess if you don't like me just pretend we'll both feel better in the end the owner tells me I'll be playing here again so if you don't like me just pretend if you don't like me just pretend we'll both feel better in the end the owner tells me I'll be playing here again So if you don't like me, just pretend If you don't like me, just pretend If you don't like me, just pretend
I see, I see Terry's on board now. So, uh, and I flew over your house there a couple times in the last couple of weeks, Terry. I couldn't see it from, I didn't get a window seat. Uh, I had an aisle seat, but I knew what would happen if I didn't give up the aisle seat to the person I was traveling with, so I ended up being right smack in the middle. So I didn't really see much of anything, except a lot of movies. I saw a lot of movies. I watched Pulp Fiction again. I watched Sound of Music again. I watched Nomadland again. So I got a lot of movies out of that trip on the, on the flying. I don't sleep very well on the plane. This one uh, may be the highlight of the new CD. It's, you know, you've heard me say this. This is the one that uh, I'm proudest of, really, of pretty much anything maybe I've ever written. Wrote it on Veterans Day last year. Not going to go through the whole story now, but it's a song I've been wanting to write for 20 years, so here it is. My favorite high school teacher, I was baptized by the preacher. Who always held a sadness in his eye. My cranky Uncle Harold and his fishing buddy Clyde, they were heroes living ordinary lives. Heroes living ordinary lives. Growing up in Springfield, they were everywhere you went. I know that there's a story, but I haven't heard it yet. Something about D-Day and the Battle of the Bulge. There are tales you don't care to divulge. With a 35-year mortgage, it was all about the kids. Like the horrors of the past, we'll never find out where you live. You went off to save the world. You weren't even 22. You say it's just what any decent man would do. My favorite high school teacher, I was baptized by the preacher, who always held a sadness in his eye. My cranky Uncle Harold and his fishing buddy Clyde, they were heroes living ordinary lives. Heroes living ordinary lives. I tried to ask my dad what he was up to in the war. He said, there's a lot I don't remember anymore. In the middle of the ocean where so many brothers fell, I don't want to go back to that hell. My mother's uncle Michael, he was in the OSS. What he walked into a Dachau tried for decades to suppress. He came back and went through college in a struggle to forget. In 59, he drank himself to death. My favorite high school teacher, I was baptized by the preacher, who always held a sadness in his eye. My cranky Uncle Harold and his fishing buddy Clyde, they were heroes living ordinary lives. Heroes living ordinary lives. Whoa, I hate to see them go, but I reckon there's a handful still alive. Good sir, didn't realize who you were until after you had died. My favorite high school teacher, I was baptized by the preacher, who always held a sadness in his eye. My cranky Uncle Harold and his fishing buddy Clyde, they were heroes living ordinary lives. Heroes living ordinary lives. My favorite high school teacher, I was baptized by the preacher, who always held a sadness in his eye. My cranky Uncle Harold and his fishing buddy Clyde, they were heroes living ordinary lives. Heroes living ordinary lives. Heroes living ordinary lives. Heroes living ordinary lives. And a song that actually had uh, some significance for me on the trip, actually, because uh, a couple of the play every place we went actually was touched by that war. And specifically, when we were actually on our way to pick up the boat in Germany, we'd spent two nights in Paris. Thank you, Linda. And we picked up the boat in Trier, Germany, on the Moselle River. Um, but on our way, we went through Luxembourg, and we stopped at the American Cemetery in Luxembourg, where a lot of the um, a lot of the soldiers from the Third Army were buried, including George Patton. We uh, we stopped at George Patton's grave, and so a lot of the, you know there's a lot of World War II that's still there in uh, in uh, France and in Luxembourg and Germany. Just amazing the history, you know. There's buildings that go back to the to the pre prehistoric times to the 
to B.C., actually, when the Romans, you know the history, the Romans came into France and Germany and occupied all those places, and then the buildings were all knocked down, and uh, pieces, of, pieces of them were still in existence, and so they built new cathedrals on what was left of the ruins, and then in the 18th century, the French Revolution, they're knocked down again, and they built them up, and then they're all shot to pieces in World War I, and they built them up again, and then all shot to pieces in World War II, and it's just rebuilt. It's just amazing. It's amazing, you know, driving down the, driving down the river, or going sailing down the river, um, just all afternoon one day, just sitting in a chair and just looking out on the balcony and watching the little towns go by one after the other. And each one of them has a castle. I mean, a castle after castle after castle, and then cathedral after cathedral after cathedral, and swans everywhere. You know, there's probably four swans in the state of Iowa. It's just all the way down the Rhine. It's just all these swans. So anyway, that's, uh, you know, my, my trip. I actually switched those two songs. And what about if you don't like me, just pretend. And that one, I switched them inadvertently. So I'll tell you that right now. When you get the CD, don't feel like you've been cheated because you didn't hear the World War II song. It's, it's coming up. So that's one of the oldest ones on the CD. Um, there was one I wrote before that, after I released Badass Storm 2020. Then I wrote that one on November 11th. This is the, uh, the newest one I wrote just before I started uh, recording my CD. Bella's laying in the sun I just took her for a two mile run Told her a story about a place called the beach That would be a lot of fun Bella's laying in the sun It will seem like almost no time I wish I gave her more time like any of the five dogs of my life. I've had marriages that failed, several weekends in a Dexfield jail, that year without a call on the phone or a single piece of mail, just the wagging of a tail. When I was down and I had no fight, I wish I had a fight with any of the five dogs in my life. When I was down and I had no fight, what would get me through the cold nights was any of the five dogs in my life. There's one thing I could choose to get right I'd be holding on with all of my might To any of the five dogs in my life Any of the five dogs in my life one of them is just laying right over there in her cage right behind that chair that you can't see. Bella, you know, uh, well, anyway. The visages don't even try. There is no hidden from it, and it doesn't heal in time. You don't need to tell me twice. I'm just waiting for the sacred advice. No one else has lost what you've lost. No one else has eyes like her. No one else has laid awake, cried out loud for nine days straight. It'll be that way for 18 more. You say yours was a timeless flower. That's not what I remember, but I guess that's what it was. You'll be flying solo now. The source of all of your dreams just tossed you out. No one else has lost what you've lost. No one else has scars like yours. No one else has laid awake 
cried out loud for nine days straight. It'll be that way for 18 more. You hear the story every day, a trusting heart get tossed away. It's more than that with you, you say. A different bridge was crossed. Whoa, ho, ho. No one else has lost what you've lost. No one else has scars like yours. No one else has laid awake, cried out loud for nine days straight. It'll be that way for 18 more. No one else has laid awake, cried out loud for nine days straight. It'll be that way for 18 more. No one else has laid awake, you've lost. It'll be that way for 18 more. No one else has lost what you've lost. It'll be that way for 18 more. Be that way for 18 more. Oh, 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 oh. No one else has lost what you've lost. We can all identify with that, but nobody will ever admit that there's anybody else who has lived through the pain and heartache that you've lived through in your life. Home to home was like living alone. One time you traded your favorites for an ice cream cone. You're thinking love was love, thinking that's what it was. There was no frame of reference you would know. You fought when you had to fight, went to the mattresses, slept with a 38 for three straight nights. Then at 7 a.m. on the corner again in the handwritten cardboard sign. I'll do whatever you ask for a little affection. Keep my mouth shut if you win an election. If you got a wife, you can go home tonight with a guaranteed satiated appetite. It's ironic indeed that the people you see when you're out there on duty on a dead-end street. In the world it was, they were so eager to judge. Now they crave the cheap midnight love. Maybe they know the face, maybe it's dark, or maybe somewhere between you take them case by case. But your lips are sealed, you're gonna live with the deal and not try to steal the base. I'll do whatever you ask for a little affection. Keep my mouth shut if you win an election. If you got a wife, you can go home tonight with a guaranteed satiated appetite. Is a generous God, one day you'll conquer the odds. You'll have a house and a family and a full-time job. And all you'll ask is that the sins of your past can be offset by the time you lost. You did what you had to do, never apologize after the beatdown that they put you through. The gist of that with the same set of facts, it's what anyone else would do. I'll do whatever you ask for a little affection. Keep my mouth shut if you win an election. If you got a wife, you can go home tonight with a guaranteed satiated appetite. I'll do whatever you ask for a little affection. Keep my mouth shut if you win an election. If you got a wife, you can go home tonight with a guaranteed satiated appetite. Ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. You know, the subject matter of that one's a little bit dicey, and so I, you know, playing at the farmer's markets and, the, and everything else, I kind of stayed away from that. I did play it for the marathon last week, because basically playing at the marathon, the idea is, uh, is thank you, Randy, the, the, the idea is to really uh, uh, just play fast songs, you know, keep upbeat songs, so it sounds upbeat, unless you stop and actually listen to the words, and who, who listens to the words, right? Especially when I'm losing, seem to be losing my voice. Well, you know the story behind this one. Um, I do uh, on Friday. My, you know, I've got a, I've got a routine. Except the months that I'm recording, which is this month. I got a routine I follow every day, which involves basically practicing all day and then writing in the afternoon. Fridays, uh, there's the, the least amount of practicing. I just practice the new stuff, and I try to get my writing done by noon. And then I work on other things in the afternoon. This is the weekend. 
So one day, you know, I got done practicing, and I had an hour left to write a song before I made my lunch. My lunch that day was going to be some leftover meatloaf from the meatloaf that I made the night before. So this is what I came up with. This is actually a crowd favorite of some of my new ones. There's some leftover meatloaf in the fridge Making that meatloaf was the last thing she did She didn't even get a bite There's so many things I hate about that night It's been up on that shelf about a month Not gonna eat it, though I thought about it once in a way, it's a lot like myself. Time has run, now I languish on the shelf. There are things you keep, things you toss away. Some are easy to identify, others bother you your whole damn life. There's some leftover meatloaf in the fridge. My sister asked me what the odor is. I said, it's a lot like my life. You'd understand if you were there that night. She says, I'm not telling you you're wrong. You got to pick a point for moving on. I said, once again, you're right. I just don't have one. Anywhere in sight, there are things you keep, things you toss away. Some are easy to identify, others bother you your whole damn life. In my best dream, I have my slice, and then she serves up hers. Went to bed both satisfied, none the worse. Well, there are things you keep, and things you toss away. Some are easy to identify, others bother you your whole damn life. There's some leftover meatloaf in the fridge. There's some leftover meatloaf in the fridge. There's some leftover meatloaf in the fridge. That's, that's one of my crowd favorites, actually, so far. The next one is two, actually. But this one, as we've, as we've discussed before, this has a limited shelf life. I don't know how much longer I'm going to have to play this and it's going to mean anything to anybody, but hopefully it does now. Kind of a meaning, uh, message song, you know, uh, something I think uh, we can all relate to. Melinda Gates. It's been a long and painful wait. Thank you, Alec. I heard you're on the market, so I'm asking for a date. I'm not a, don't you ice me, saying I don't measure up. I got a pretty decent case. I got Netflix, Hulu, Disney, YouTube, a 12-year-old Jeep, and a new RAV4. His and her sinks in the master bathroom, ceramic tile on the dining room floor. Two-week timeshare Donna Branson, piece of gold with double miles, king of beers, and the man cave cooler. Cousin Liz doing cuts and styles. Melinda Gates, why well, don't have a billion in the bank? Put a little on the market, but like everything, it shrank. There'll be pizza in a film on Friday nights. 
I got enough to fill the tank. I got Netflix, Hulu, Disney, YouTube, a 12 year old Jeep, and a new RAV4. Isn't her sinks in the master bathroom, ceramic tile on the dining room floor? Two week timeshare, Donna Branson, piece of gold with double miles, king of beers, and a man cave cooler. Cousin Liz doing cuts and styles. Thank you, Randy. Melinda Gates, I'll never come home late. I'll take out all the garbage and let you win the debates. I'm not out here for a huge slice of your pie. I'm just asking for a date. I got Netflix, Hulu, Disney, YouTube, a 12 year old Jeep, and a new RAV4. His and her sinks in the master bathroom, ceramic tile on the dining room floor. Two week timeshare down at Branson, piece of gold with double miles, king of beers, and the man cave cooler. Cousin Liz doing cuts and styles. Two week timeshare down at Branson, piece of gold with double miles, king of beers, and the man cave cooler. Cousin Liz doing cuts and styles. Cousin Liz doing tights and Melinda Gates, you know, we all can relate to that, you know. I've been married for 31 years, but she's got a few bucks, you know. She's got more bucks than anybody I've ever met put together, probably. This song, wrote it the, wrote it the morning after I watched the movie, uh, uh, yeah, Ivanka Trump. Uh, yeah, yeah Ivanka, Ivanka Trump, you know. One of these days, one of these days. So, so I, um, I wrote this song the day after I watched that movie, Moonstruck. That's where I got the idea for this song. It was a satisfying run. When the consequences come We severed ties I rode off into the sun Couldn't be a better day Than that one for goodbye Seems like it's been raining all September I'm so ready for a quick change in the weather. I'd love to walk outside. Seems like I get rained on every night. Thinking that's the price. It made sense, but it was wrong. We'd known it all along. When the north wind blows, we can't keep hanging on. It's not an object of rare beauty, it's a lie. Seems like it's been raining all September. I'm so ready for a quick change in the weather. I'd love to walk outside. Seems like I get rained on every night Thinking that's the price Take a look at me the moment I stop paying I'm not out to make a sacrifice Thinking that's the price Seems like it's been raining all September. I'm so ready for a quick change in the weather. I'd love to walk outside. Seems like I get rained on every night. Thinking that's the price. Thinking that's the price. Moonstruck. It has to do, you know, I get the idea from uh, Cher's dad in the movie, you know, the accountant and everything. Uh, um, no, it wasn't her dad. It was that 
It was her dad, and he had that girlfriend. And, uh, and he broke up with her during a rainstorm, and I, I got the idea for that, for that song and that one. This one, this one gets me in trouble all the time, um, and I've explained why. This one isn't for you, really. This is for your cell phones. You know, if you've got an iPhone, whip it out and see. Uh, thank you, Alex. And th see if this one uh, relates to your iPhone or relates to mine. It gets me all kinds of trouble with mine. Last week or two weeks ago, it called my sister up. Just uh, on our, She called my sister on the phone. Uh, as a consequence of the song. One time I caught her try, trying to dial emergency services. Uh, one time she gave me a, 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 def a, a Wikipedia definition of hell. I was brought up in simpler times Now I'm rapidly fixing to lose my mind So I put it to her She told me it's all just fine But it's indelibly clear from the look in her eye That our seven-year flame is about to die Maybe you can tell me why Hey Siri, what the hell is her beef? How did I screw up this time? What do I do to get back on my feet? Hey Siri, where does a poor fella go? To get a few simple answers. I asked my stepbrother Ned, but he don't know. In my earlier days I could take it to church, but the pastor just left me out on the lurch. So I went off to college and did some intense research. The epiphany came in a bartender's voice Said, don't ever believe you don't have a choice This one's even worse Hey Siri, what the hell is her beef? How did I screw up this time? What do I do to get back on my feet? Hey Siri, where does the poor fella go? To get a few simple answers I asked my stepbrother Ned But he don't know I'm coming to you You're not programmed to lie If I can manage to just phrase the question right Maybe you can save my life Hey Siri What the hell is her beef? How did I screw up this time? What do I do to get back on my feet Hey Siri Where does a poor fella go To get a few simple answers I asked my stepbrother Ned But he don't know Hey Siri Hey Siri Hey Siri, five times during when I was playing it, five times I got responses from Siri. Twice she gave me some long, I can't read it from here, but some long article about something. And the, finally, the last one, she just said, I can't understand what you're asking me. Which, you know, that's the closest thing to a real person that, that I can get. I'll tell you, one time she said, you know, I'm calling, calling emergency services, and it wasn't so much funny. Um, this one, I actually, when I wrote it, I thought, this is the hit, basically. I was going uh, to open my state fair show with this song until I wrote the Mile Offshore, which I thought was a better song. Um, this one's a little bit low for me, uh, and it's got profanity in it. The last one has profanity in it, too. But... Um, uh, I decided uh, not to, but, I, but I actually when I do play it, I get a pretty good response from it. I may, probably shouldn't do it right after that one because it sounds a lot like that one, so we'll see if I can do this one. Uh, 
Better do another one first. I, I, uh, sometimes when I stick them close together like that, it's hard to, uh, hard to remember how they go. So I'll play this one. This is the feel-good song of the evening. It's like walking in eggshells now. Keep it civil, but not tug the tall walls down. You can take another swipe at me. Not what we're about. So we cover the better ground. Pleasant memories, it's amazing how good they sound. Force of habit we embrace. Maybe you finally come around. Don't put the idea in my head. I wish you nothing but the best you said. Well, the best is with you. You shouldn't say it if it isn't true. I've heard everything you said. Don't put the idea in my head. It's essentially who I am. I tell the story in a way I can understand. And if the ending isn't right for me, I just choose the other hand. I don't do that alone You may not realize When you toss me a little bone That I'll latch on to anything The tiniest shred of hope Don't put the idea in my head I wish you nothing But the best you said well, the best is with you You shouldn't say it if it isn't true I've heard everything you said Don't put the idea in my head I'll latch on to anything If there's a scent of a chance Babe, do I still have a chance? Put the idea in my head I wish you nothing but the best you said Well, the best is with you You shouldn't say it if it isn't true I've heard everything you said Don't put the idea in my head I've heard everything you said Don't put the idea in my head Now let's see if I can do that other one. Heck, I've lost it. I've lost it. Good thing I didn't try to open the fair show with it. Here it is. He's the answer to your deepest prayers if you squandered our future for a love affair. If he's so goddamn good for you, what else can he do? To see your number on the caller ID, some emergency, I should let it just ring through. Call me if you have to, but try to handle it yourself. If you think you're smart enough to cheat on me, you could fix a TV without my help. Call me if you have to, and I'll be there in a flash. I say don't expect me at your beck and call, but I keep running when you ask. 
You think you get to have it both ways now. There's the door, find your own way out. I'm not ready to go through with that. So yes, I call you back. Later, when the sun goes down, I stand my ground. You just glance back and laugh. Call me if you have to, but try to handle it yourself. If you think you're smart enough to cheat on me, you can fix a TV without my help. Call me if you have to, and I'll be there in a flash. I say, don't expect me at your beck and call, but I come running when you ask. Oh, I'll come running when you ask to that voice that will always pull me back. Call me if you have to. Try to handle it yourself. If you think you're smart enough to cheat on me, you can fix a TV without my help. Call me if you have to, and I'll be there in a flash. I say, don't expect me at your beck and call, but I come running when you ask. Call me if you have to, but try to handle it yourself. If you think you're smart enough to cheat on me, you can fix a TV without my help. Call me if you have to, and I'll be there in a flash. I say, don't expect me at your beck and call, but I come running when you ask. Oh, oh, oh. Call me if you have to. I finally remembered that. You hear that? You hear, you hear that? You hear that? You hear what's going? Thank you, thank you, Linda. You hear what's going on? Is the other dog, the the big dog, is living in our house right now. So it's, it's a chocolate lab puppy. She wants some attention. She's locked up in her cage, too. She's been there, like, all day and everything. But uh, she wants some ten attention, too. If she got loose now, this whole setup that I have right here would be all on the ground because she's got so much energy. Now, now for a piano song. Um, hopefully, this piano, uh, is, is, you know, I've had it seven years now. I beat the living daylights out of it. And... Uh, and um, it's about time for a new one. And I discovered something this week, that there is a worldwide piano shortage right now. Used to be I'd just call up Sweetwater or Guitar Center or something. And uh, I, I decided, I looked at all the options. I don't want a really expensive one, because even though I'm a, basically a piano player, most of my show is guitar songs. And I, I just want something that sounds like a piano. This one is Kawaii. Uh, it's not my favorite, but uh, it's, it's done okay for seven years. The sustain pedal is starting to wear out on it. You may notice it. it, it when I practiced today, it was working all right. And uh, i got to have the sustain pedal. And, and, uh, and uh, so I, I, uh, there, there's a newer model, so I, I checked, and it's all sold out. And then so there's a, there's a, a Korg. I was going to say Kong, but that's Randy. Korg, you know, I use a lot of Kong product, Korg products. And there's one that's kind of on the same level as the ES-110. That sold out, too. So I looked it up yesterday, and I found out that there is actually a worldwide digital piano shortage. That for all the same reasons, our meat is getting so expensive, and we're not getting truck deliveries. We're not getting new cars and everything because of the microprocessors and the ships being stuck overseas and stuff. We're not getting pianos either. So uh, fortunately, I guess somewhat fortunately, I'm down to my last, I got one more show that I'm going to use the piano on uh, at, the, uh, at the farmer's market a week from Saturday. And then I've got Art on the Prairie, which is just guitar. And then everything else is, 
I don't know what's going to happen after that. I've got other digital pianos, but not really anything I can take out. So let's, I may have to take this one in and see if I can get it repaired. your weapon. I got mine. Let's dig him up. At the very same time, I got a real good sense of who will win. Would even matter then. Dancing on a garage. Circling the floor. No spontaneous surprise. song I wrote on February 3rd. I was telling the story about the awful review that my band, Baby Lester and the Buggy Bumpers, which, by the way, started 45 years ago, August, October 30th, 40, 40 years ago next Saturday, 45 years ago the band started. And uh, on February 3rd, we got that nasty review in the Albuquerque Tribune. And I always talk about it you know, on Facebook on the anniversary every year. And Donna, the bass player last year, was saying that you can't harbor a judge, a, a grudge for, at the time, for 44 years. And I said, well, yeah, I can. You know, because it's a great story, for one thing. I wouldn't have the story if I didn't have the grudge. And then I got the song, too. So I got a story and a song and the grudge. After 40, it's going to be 45 years next February. So.
I don't think our friend Glennis is watching. In Australia, in Australia, I don't know, it's like middle of the night there or something like that. But uh, she gave me the idea for this one. Caught a 10 second glimpse of the Tasmanian tiger Down in the valley I heard a cry Though I'm sure that was it I'm not truly equipped to identify Locals believe it's a small pad of melon Since the last thylacine has been 30 years But the case against that is the build of her back in the pointy years Neil Waters stood up and hollered that I found the proof that he needs Don't know about you, Neil, but that makes the decade for me My 10-second glimpse of the Tasmanian tiger Is more than most people will ever get So as much as they mock me That shouldn't stop me from taking it Neil Waters will bet me a dollar That what I'm suspecting is real and if that turns out to be so, that's a really big deal. If you truly believe she came back from extinction, and it's her in that 10 second clip, if you take the wheel, Neil, I'm happy believing in this. My 10 second glimpse of the Tasmanian tiger, down in the valley I heard her cry. Though I'm sure that was it, I'm not truly equipped to identify, to identify the Tasmanian tiger. I'm not truly equipped to identify the Tasmanian tiger. Truly equipped to identify, oh, 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 oh. Ten second glimpse of a Tasmanian tiger. The, uh, what the hell is it? Thylacine. It's, a, it's an animal that believed to have been extinct uh, 80 years ago, but there are people in Australia who are sure they've seen them recently. And, uh, and Glennis has actually gone to, gone to seminars and conventions where they've gotten together and shared evidence and photographs and stuff that they've, that they've taken. Let's see. Stop here. So I come home one day and Bella's barking and there are people who actually live here in this house who don't, do, who don't like to hear Bella barking so much. But... Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I came home one day and she was barking and I thought, well, that's, for me, that's a good sound. Dr. Trow says I should make every moment count. I'm going to listen now because the clock is running down. Good sounds, the bark of my dog, the waves on the beach, a passionate song. Good sounds, the rhythm of her heart. After too many days apart Tires on the interstate Was the soundtrack of my yesterday For now I'm home to stay Good sounds, the local evening news The posting of the scores The mayor's opposing views Good sounds, a coyote shrill duet I still haven't seen one yet Everything I'm finding here was a highlight of my early years, all music to my ears. Dr. Trow says I should make every moment count. I'm going to listen now, because the clock is running down. Good sounds, easy as Eve, another one slips by, too many, I believe. Good sounds, a desperate late night call. Remember me after all. 
I'll save this for posterity. I thought you were my enemy, but you always think of me. Dr. Trow says I should tie up the yarn loose ends. I should have listened then. At least we're back to being friends. Good sound. Good sounds. Good sounds. Good sounds. Yeah, there's there's a variable number of people who live in this house. Actually, it's not just me and the wife. Actually, there are a number of people that. Are in and out. Hi, Nancy. Thank you, Linda. Don't you recognize a song? I was nailing up boards for the hurricane. I was on my way to keep escape. Look at you, girl, you don't even know my name. That's so pathetically wrong. I thought we instantly struck a chord. I thought you were the love I was searching for. Now you nervously watch me from back inside that door. Couldn't you see how much I miss you, baby? I'm down on the beach, just come. I'm only here for the weekend, finishing what I've begun. So give me that dance in the sun. Frolic with me in the weekend. Give me that dance in the sun. Frolic with me. You know it's never the same. The scene of the crime can get washed away, but I remember it like it was yesterday. Look at these, these are in mind. Are you willing to play? Willing to give me the second chance? I got the kiss, but we never danced. The hurricane left me such my empty hands. Couldn't you see how much I miss you, baby? I'm down on the beach, just calm. I'm only here for the weekend, finishing what I've begun. So give me that dance in the sun. Frolic with me in the weekend. Give me that dance in the sun. Frolic with me. Couldn't you see how much I miss you, baby? I'm down on the beach, just calm. I'm only here for the weekend, finishing what I've begun. Give me that dance in the sun. Frolic with me in the weekend. Give me that dance in the sun. Frolic with me. Give me that dance in the sun. Frolic with me in the weekend. Give me that dance in the sun. Frolic with me. Yeah, actually, Nancy, you're like me. Actually, uh, and I, I'm reading the comments as I'm as I'm playing, and I really can't do a very good job playing and read comments at the same time. It's kind of like the same boat you're in. Because if you see me have these memory lapses, one of them is because I'm just so damn old. And I'm going to have memory lapses no matter what. But, uh, but uh, you know, reading the stream of comments and, and trying to formulate responses or even responding to them while I'm playing, it just uh, leads me off in directions that the, uh, that the music wasn't written to take. But... Uh, that's why, I, that's why I practice so much. And actually, it's kind of one of the reasons I do these live streams, too, is it's good, it's good practice for me. And it is. It's all about me, actually, in my book.
Here's one. Nancy's mentioned this before. Is one that she likes. Actually, this is the next one. I'm playing these in the order, that, mostly the order they're going to be on the CD. There are a couple of switches already. One of them I had a memory lapse on one of the songs, and so I had to move it down the list a little bit until I could remember it. And uh, one earlier than that. But this one, uh, Nancy has said she liked it. And, uh, and um, uh, it's one that I'll tell you, there's several of them that when you hear, actually, if you listen to the CD, will sound a lot different from the way they sound when I play them. You know, I sit down with instruments and stuff and uh, start working them up, and uh, sometimes they come out a lot differently from the way they come out when I'm just playing them on the piano. And this is one of them. This is one that was, as you know, that was inspired by uh, the, the individual who's working night and day right now to prepare the cover art for my CD, Sean Pallack. Um, you know, he's, he's uh, actually going off in, different, in a number of directions right now. One of them is he's setting up a cookie, a, a cookie bakery in the first floor of his house. And so uh, he, moving, he moved his, his bedroom up to the second floor, and he had Don Ton's niece uh, do the mural. He didn't do it himself. She did the mural on it in the bedroom. And uh, he live-streamed it while she was doing it. She Facebook lived it. And uh, one of the things he told her, you know, uh, in the running commentary while she was painting is that uh, w really what it's all about as an artist is when you get to pay to paint. The muralist told me when I get paid to paint, that's my education, man. Someday I'll be great. I hone my skills when I get paid. has told me when I get through with this some Kansas City barbecue is the next thing on my list I earn my dinner with a flick of the wrist maybe art is genetic trait the recession gene till I'm paid to pay the muralist goes on to the dead of night Caught a momentary glimpse of it The canvas was all white The only days of the dead of night Maybe art is like a Trojan horse You gotta rope that stallion Till you lose the course You're a different person when you're paid to paint People act like you control your fate the more you do it, you can raise your rate. Maybe art is genetic trait, a recessive gene, till I'm paid to pay. Maybe art is genetic trait, a recessive gene, till I'm paid to pay. I hope you like it when you uh, hear the way it is on the CD. Maybe art is genetic trait, a recessive gene, till I'm paid. I don't always have, even though I'm the only one that plays on the CD, I don't always have control about the way it comes out. I lay down a rhythm track, put a little bass on there, and then I start adding instruments. And then the song starts to take shape. And sometimes it takes shape the way you want it to, and sometimes it just goes in an entirely different direction. That's what this one did. I can tell you right now, though, that this uh, new CD, it is going to be the new Sergeant Pepper. Lonely Heart Club Sting. Yes. 
this one, of course. Idea came when I was watching Inauguration Day, and uh, one of the, the traditions I didn't know about is that after the after the speeches, uh, well, thank you, Randy. I hope you like the other one too. Uh, it's more it's rock and roll. It's it's more rocky. Um, you know, I got that new I new I get that new Strat or the Telecaster from uh, from Howard Frierson. Uh, the one that he had, uh, he did all the art on because it was the old hippie machine, you know, and, and it's a it's a Telecaster Deluxe, so it's got two humbuckers in it, like a Les Paul. It looks like a Telecaster. It is a Telecaster, but they put two humbuckers in instead of the three single-coil pickups. So it's entirely different. It's got a lot more. And what I normally do when I record my CDs is... Uh, you know, I've got I've got a, a wardrobe I've got a wardrobe of electric guitars and a wardrobe of acoustic guitars that I that I choose from and you know well I've got the Gretsch and, and I've got which is kind of a, a big full jazzy sound and I've got the Les Paul which is a big chunky sound and then the the uh, the Telecaster which is nice, a light trebly sound and then the Casino the Epiphone Casino which is what John Lennon and George Harrison used for the majority of their later years and uh, it does give you a, a nice color. A nice, you know, almost a Beatles-esque color to some of the songs, but on this CD, all of the electric guitar parts are going to be on that Telecaster that, that Howard sold me. So anyway. <laughs> Today, the moment my eyes were formed, the rainbow is always a good sign. I stood erect on my tentative legs, went to pieces when the question was begged. Now I know better than to run out too far ahead. Everybody's looking. I can finally aspire to what I wanted to be. Now I'm loving the embrace of a warm spring breeze. a good sign. Here's one I actually bypassed this one. I don't want to bypass this one. Long Lunch with Kwame Ture. Um, uh, um, what is Stokely Carmichael, actually. I was reading about Stok Stokely Carmichael, and I was kind of fascinated by him. Uh, he made a sign... Uh, uh, Made a made a statement once. You know, he wasn't he wasn't too fond of the of the, the white liberals and everything that thought they were the, his saviors. You know, and his famous quotation was something like, uh, "You don't give a man his freedom, just stop taking it away." Moved down to Jackson. 
early 68. Soldier in the SDS, the war was on my plate. In a long lunch with Stokely, with Mario, just about to leave the States, I said we should join forces, advancing the cause. Stokely said, don't ask me. I'm not the leader that I was. I don't need you as an ally, friend. It's not my crucible, not yours. I don't envy your privilege. He said you're here to save the day. Well, you don't give a man his freedom. You just stop taking it away. No, you don't give a man his freedom. You just stop taking it away. He said, do what you came for. Put an end to the war. Save the wealthy white boys' lives in the service of the Lord. I don't need you as an ally, friend. It's my crucible, not yours. I don't envy your privilege. You say you're here to save the day. Well, you don't give a man his freedom. You just stop taking it away. Well, you don't give a man his freedom. You just stop taking it away. Drove that fight to West Africa where 30 years later he died. And I tell the tale of a long lunch in Jackson and offer abruptly decline. I don't envy your privilege. You say you're here to save the day. Well, you don't give a man his freedom. You just stop taking it away. No, you don't give a man his freedom. You just stop taking it away. No, you don't give a man his freedom. You just stop taking it away. Thank you, Nancy. Terry, I shouldn't be talking too much about the CD because, you know, as always, I'm, I'm nervous, you know, because I've got all this work done on it, but, uh, and uh, it's pretty much ready to go. And what happens if the house burns down? Or, or uh, at one time, when I first bought the unit that I'm, I'm using right now, 10 years ago, I got through a good portion of it, and there was a problem with the unit, and it just kind of blew up. And they sent me a new one, but I lost all that work. So it's really for the, this point from here on until I actually send out some of the CDs so they're actually out there. It's the most nervous I am because I've put all this work into it. So I shouldn't be bragging about it until, until it's actually out there. But, you know, it's my nature to brag. I had a, one character get on my, uh, the uh, people who are, are sick and tired of John Burns' Facebook post, that group, and uh, and uh, really read me the riot act and, and kind of told me that. Uh, but anyway, I talked about the band, you know, the, it's 40 year, 45 years ago, next Saturday, uh, Baby Lester recruited me for Baby Lester and the Buggy Bumpers. This is about one of the weekends when I was out in the row with them. Forty-four years ago tonight, I did not see it coming. You were not in my sights. So I almost missed it, babe. Always wound up so tight. Forty-four years ago tonight, we drove out to the Carescott Dam, where I counted the bird in my hand. On the road with my first real band, coming a man. Forty-four years ago tonight, 
thinking, will I get lucky? Will she put up a fight? I am a something, babe. Always up and did it right. 44 years ago tonight, dazzled by all her skills, we drove back to the Carolina Hills. And then through the next three days, coming of age, I almost missed it, babe. It was always some foolish mistake between me and being totally awake. I finally stepped up and did it right. 44 years ago tonight, we drove out to the Carescott Dam. That's where I counted the bird in my hand. On the road with my first real band, becoming a man 44 years ago tonight. It was 44 years ago tonight. It was 44 years ago tonight. 44 years ago tonight. Just about to be 45. first song I wrote after Badass Storm 2020 was released, I wrote it the day after Election Day. You can decide what it's about. After 155 years, someone explain what transpired here. Was anything resolved, anything at all? I see the shadows in the dark shooting back over the wall. And they're still counting the bodies at Bull Run. Can we finally confirm that the war is won? Will they ever get done counting the bodies at Bull Run? More than a half million dead. Still no one remembers what Lincoln said. He said, a house divided will not stand, yet things are out of hand. Smoke is pouring from the flames, burning all across the land. And they're still counting the bodies at Bull Run. Can we finally confirm that the war is won? Will they ever get done counting the bodies at Bull Run? Lost your brother in the war. You're ashamed to admit what he gave it for. He said, doesn't matter anymore. And they're still counting the bodies at Bull Run. Can we finally confirm that the war is won? Will they ever get done counting the bodies at Bull Run? Will they ever get done counting the bodies at Bull Run? Will they ever get done counting the bodies at Bull Run? Counting the bodies at Bull Run. Actually, I got two more songs. Oh, there's that dog again. Yeah. Got two more songs to get through. Looks like I'm going to have time to go to tracks of the whole CD. Almost every promise that I ever made I fully intended I would keep it, babe For you and me it didn't work that way All I can say is look where you are, look at me How it all played out eventually How it all plays out, babe, that's the key. The 
final vestige of my youthful charm. Locked in a basement closet where the memories are. It seems you mourn for that as much as I. It's a mystery why. Look where you are, look at me. How it all plays out eventually. How it all plays out, babe, that's the key. It was a painful journey when you stepped away. It was the first step up to where you are today. Look where you are, look at me. How it all plays out eventually. How it all plays out, babe, that's the key. Almost every promise that I ever made Truly expected I would keep it, babe For you and me, it didn't work that way All I can say is So down to the last song. Um, thank you for listening tonight, coming back. It's, back. it's great to be back and uh, doing this again. Uh, the, live, the live shows are tapering off. I don't really have any great plans to do anything indoors except for, uh, except for uh, Art on the Prairie. I'll be at the Hotel Patti on Saturday from 1 to, 1 to 2.50. Uh, I love the hotel. I love the Art on the Prairie. You know, it's a uh, it, it, Perry, Iowa about a half hour north and west of Des Moines. Small town that just, uh, the uh, re residents just wouldn't let it die, you know. So it's basically all the old buildings, the Carnegie Library and all the old buildings are, are basically kept up to where they were in their prime. And the Hotel Patti is like the centerpiece of that. And what the art on the prairie is that in all of these buildings, there's like six or seven of them, uh, the local artists from Iowa come and, and it's a jury, it's a, not jury, but it's an art festival. And there's art in every one of these buildings, just a lot of artists in, in this, these buildings. And, uh, and uh, in each one of these rooms, there's, a, there's an acoustic musician. You know, uh, you know, people that will play with bands and stuff will just be in there with unplugged, without PA, just a guitar, singing tunes. And I've been doing it for, uh, except for last year, which I didn't do anything. I've, I've been doing it for maybe 10, over 10 years. So it's, it's really looking forward to going back and, and uh, playing for Art on the Prairie and seeing a lot of my friends I haven't seen for a couple of years. And uh, so that, that'll be uh, the second week in November, the second weekend. It goes on Saturday and Sunday, and I'll be there for an hour and 50 minutes on Saturday. So uh, th that's really the last thing I've got on my schedule other than these live streams and then uh, probably set up in the cul-de-sac, which I won't do this Thursday probably because I'm probably going to be mixing down, mixing down my, uh, my CD. But uh, thank you for listening. I'm going to close kind of the same way I opened. I opened with the tune that I opened my uh, New Year's Eve live stream with. Um, and then uh, every hour when we, uh, in one time zone or another, that they, uh, they, we, it was, we celebrated New Year's as I was going on through the night, then I played this song that I wrote for, to celebrate the New Year's. So this is how I'm going to close, close out my CD. <laughs> is better than the last one because if it ain't I'm gonna get the gun put a 12 gauge round in me or you what else can I do they say New Year's Eve is a time for hope if the good Lord had given me the strength to cope put, put me to the test instead so I'm perched out on the ledge perched out on the ledge because
was a good Lord put me to the test instead. I hope this year is better than the last one. Want to put that one to bed. I hope this year is better than the last one. Want to put that one to bed. I hope this year is better than the last one. Want to put that one to bed. Thank you, everybody, for listening. I appreciate it.